This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Voldemort back here with another episode of Front Mission 3. In the last episode, we finally made it to Hano... Han Mokufudo. God. This game is going to be doing that to me quite a bit. Anyway, we made it to there, got to the... I think we were getting to the, like, the harbor or something like that. Fought off some special forces. Actually, would you even call them special forces? Because Japanese special defense forces were slightly different from the men we fought. Basically, the men in sunglasses. Beat them off, and we ran into one of Emma's uh, contacts, Dennis, here. We also did some stuff on the networking, which I have to do something about after we finish the conversations here, but let's get on with it. Now I'll make this short. I'm Dennis Vikoth, an FAI, FAI, FAI agent. We'll leave Japan on a transport to join the Third Fleet. You won't be able to come back to Japan for a while. That's fine. How do we get the transport off the ground? <laughs> There's no runaway nearby. A runway. You know, Japanese people lack imagination. <laughs> that's a, well, I would, I would say that's an understatement, but if you've ever been to Japan and some of their odder places, you might consider otherwise. We can use something else as a runaway. Why do I keep saying runaway? It's runaway. Something else? There's a bridge under construction nearby. Oh, you mean the Shin Okashima Bridge? You're gonna use that bridge for a runaway? The bridge is almost complete. It's fine. Jeez, Emma, we'll be okay. Sure, if he says so. There you go. Complete confidence. That's all. We need to leave soon. The enemy is coming. Huh. I guess no time to talk. We're out for the bridge. I guess I'll have to do that the the network stuff at the end of the episode. It has something to do with uh, some networking I did the last episode because I accidentally locked a page out while I uh, was just messing around. And uh, I know I know the answer. Well, I know what to, what it is anyway, so I'll talk about it when we actually get back to networking. But for now, we got to deal with this loud noise. Ah! It's on my brain. Ah! Oh, it's just them racing the plane? I think it's just a straight plane. So that's how they intend to escape. Stop them before they reach the bridge. Yes, sir! Oh, whoa, that was quick. Looks like we're going to have to deal with the men in sunglasses again. I'm just going to call them the men in black, because that's pretty much what they represent. What? Another company of monsters. No, they're the ones who have been chasing us all along. Dennis, do you recognize where those monsters are from? God, that background noise is really, <laughs> really kind of obtuse. There's some variation, but they're definitely De Da Hong. Da Hong Zhang. They are. Da Hong Zhang is basically. From what I understand, looking at the info of the world, it's kind of a variation on. Like, China. It's like bits of China, like Vietnam, Korea, and a couple other countries, like, mesh together, if I remember correctly. Um, if you go to the network, you can look it up and it kind of explains it a bit better than I'm doing. But basically, it's one of the uh, Asian nations, basically. What's the Dahan Zhang army doing here? Dennis, you go on ahead. We'll hold them on. Acknowledged. Take them out. Maybe troublesome trying to take them off under fire. Dude, easier said than done. You can always stay in Japan if you don't like it. Aw, <laughs> oh, don't say that. You'll miss me when I'm gone. Well, he is the co comic relief, so... Oh, good. That, that sounds good. Thanks. I would not have been fun fine with that for the rest of the combat. <laughs> That's why you can't trust the Japanese. Wow, racist much? Dennis, what are you doing? Hurry up and get on top. The elevator's broken. I need to repair it. Buy me some time. No way! You're kidding me! Yep, yeah, well, this is gonna be tough. Alright, we gotta protect Dennis before he can leave. Can we defeat the Da Han Zhang army before that? Let's find out. Alright, yep, now we gotta face to the name of our enemies here. Basically, another, another Asian nation trying to uh, affect something in Japan for some reason. Japan is part of the OCU, the Da Hong. Da Han Zhan Nation is its own thing, and then there's like the United States one, which is the UC. Is 
the UCA or something like that, which is basically Amer uh, North America, South America, and Canada are a nation, basically. Yeah, a lot of countries in this in the front mission world have basically merged into one giant nation for a lot of cases. Okay, let's see. Anyway, we've got a... Uh, the, um, the harbor, well, harbor, I guess, is a loose term. The area where we're going to transport the bridge. Let's see, we've got a lot of movement jumping spaces. Looks like not a whole lot of units. Got four Dahanjong units. Uh, so we do have some movement, and they you know, we got some missile users here too. So, all right, let's look at let's see what their weaknesses are. Got some Jinkos, machine gun, no skills. Okay, good. Uh, okay, we fought these guys before. Let's see, got a Tian Dong. Oh, we got a new unit now. Looks like they're a lot heavier than the others. Man, if I could capture one of those, that would save me some money. Oh, I found out off-screen that uh, I should have realized this before, but if you can, basically if you can get a unit to surrender instead of outright killing them, you can actually get the the uh, mech, which allows you to either use it or strip it for parts or sell it. So depending on how you play the game, if you want pure experience, then you want to kill them. But if you want to try and get more money or more options for customizing your mechs, you want to try and surrender them. Surrendering them is a bit difficult, because, at least early in the game, because you don't have the skills that'll, you know, attack certain parts to try and weaken their morale and stuff like that, or kill the pilot. What? Well, that's another way. You can just straight kill the pilot, but that's based on skills, which Emma's the only one of ours that has that right now. But anyway, Tian Dongs have a lot of uh, heavy armor, so they'll be take a while to take out. Let's see, any battle skills? Nope. Okay. So machine gun. Let's see, we got two machine gun Jinko and machine gun users. Oh, we've got a we've got a boss character. We'll talk about him here in a second. Let's see. And then we've got a Lei Ling. Lai Ling. Lai Ying? Okay. Anyway, I don't think we've encountered this mech before either. He's the one with the quill. And uh, let's see, no name, obviously. Missile. Ah, uh, no battle skills. Okay. So missile, machine gun, and Melee, and then we got another machine gun, but this guy's name, his name is Hei Fong Li. Or Lu, uh, Li? Would that be Li, or? I'm not familiar a lot with a lot of Eastern languages, whether it be Chinese or whatever, so you'll have to forgive me. But anyway, he's in a Jinko as well, and a machine gun. Uh, looks like his skills are about the same. His thing is a void, which I think, a void, I think that's a melee ability where he basically can avoid melee attacks. I could be wrong. No, avoid 20. That could be just in general. Like, he has a chance to avoid any attack, which... It's a low skill, which hopefully won't happen all the time, but, uh... So he'll be dangerous in that respect. All right, let's start taking out our opponents, so... All right, can we hit the... Oops. Can we hit the quill units? Now we have to move at least one forward. Probably not gonna be enough to hit a quill user. Nah. That's not gonna do anything again. Because I want to use quill against quill. Yeah, she'll just have to move up quick, soon, uh, closer to to that. So we'll just use her to take out. I usually want to save her for range to attack people from far away. So, which is how you're supposed to kind of use shoulder shoulder weapon users. So it looks like you didn't avoid that, so that's just good. Let's get Ryogo. Not bad, not bad. Ow. Alright, and then we'll get a Kazuki in there. I know he can still punch, but uh you know, uh, um, sorry, I got distracted by something there for a second, folks. So you can either punch or I can shotgun him. I always want to punch because it does more damage, but shotgunning has a more spatial. Yeah, we'll punch him since I moved so close in the first place. Oh, no, and we stunned him. Excellent, he can't counterattack. Although, he might still have movement after the turn. Haha, and it's going to take that guy a few turns to, uh, Oh, excellent. Okay, and they're not even quilling us either, so... That... Probably doesn't have the movement to uh, take that guy out. Oh, good. We can still hit him. Great. Might as well take out the boss, and if he can't get a boy to activate, then, uh... That works for me. 
You know, one, one, one battle I was doing off screen a while back, I, I had Emma attacking one guy, and she was able to combo like three pilot damages in one thing. And I, unfortunately, that means she ran out of missiles so quickly, but it was pretty funny. Although the sad thing is, when she did that, she attacked the person's legs, and it was like a heavy unit like this. It was funny, but it was also like, man, with three attacks, she should have just straight up killed him, but, you know. Alright, do I want to have him keep... Might as well, but while we uh, get towards the melee, dude. I'd rather be... Actually, he's stunned. I could just go up right next to him and just shoot him in the face. Ooh, rate of fire. Nice. He might finish him off. I'll try to get the kill, the next kill the Kazuki if I can help it. I don't want my weapon levels to go up too high, so I might might hold off on the. That's kind of too late now, but okay, that guy can move. How far can that guy move? Oh, six. Okay, so he can move. be able to hit him anyway from I'd have to stand right uh, here. That looks I wanna get close enough. I might start using her quills on the heavy guy if he moves closer. Oh, okay. Well Yeah this guy's gonna be tough because of his melee. Ow yeah, sooner or later, I will eventually have to start using a oh, shield on that. Yeah, this is one of the main reasons why I use shield, because shoulder users can actually be blocked, so that'll help out, like, dispersing damage. And since he's close enough, which means I can start using um, Quill against Quill, so if we, uh, he should be close enough, yeah. Let's start doing that, so we can, ooh, pilot damage. Maybe she might be able to stack attacks now, because she has one pilot damage already. Well, let's find out. Aha! Yes, excellent. Way to go, Emma. Will it hit him in the head body again? I hope so. Here's hoping. That's. Oh well. It still hit him a couple times. Yeah, I'd rather keep the shape ability or shape or shop or whatever. Still, not bad, not bad. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's get. Actually, I don't want Ryoga to move, move too far away because I want him to kind of be a distraction for uh, uh the. Because well, I either want Emma or or uh, Ryoga to get hit by missiles if I can. I want Kazuki not to because he's not have a shield. Because he's my heavy hitter. B. I have to be careful. I don't want his. I don't want Ryogo's uh, um, experience to go too high because then that'll raise his battle skill to the next step, and there's a chance it'll lower my uh, it'll lower my ranking. So. I'm not doing a lot of damage to him. I'm not getting very lucky with my shotgun blast. Uh-oh. Looks like Mr. Bossman's getting ever closer. Do you want to keep shotgunning him? Yeah, I'll try shot. He's in close, close proximity. Ooh, double! Yes! Excellent. I love this ability. It's probably my favorite ability in front mission. Well, not... Okay, maybe not my favorite, but it's pretty close. Ah, we almost got him, too. Nice. The next turn, we'll just finish him off with a shotgun blast. Okay, good. We, we can accept that. Yeah, I, I mean, if you want to, Kazuki with a shield would be fine too, but uh, I, I don't know. I just like leaving Kazuki with his melee and shotgun. Got it. Oh, that didn't take you very long. Well, good to see you've uh, fixed it while we're dealing with all these guys. We have to watch the animation of him going up slower and slower. Oh. Nuts. <laughs> Dennis? Hey, quit messing around. I've just started. I'm not buying Japanese again. <laughs> hey, man. Japanese back in the 80s used to be the thing, man. At least in America, anyway. So. Alright. Let's uh, finish this guy off. Shotgun blast. Actually, I could just... Nah, I'm not going to shoot him in the face because I don't... What if I, what if I somehow don't hit him? You know, so... He does too much damage for me to melee. Combo him. I don't have Kazuki built for pure melee. I have it built for like combo melee. That's pure. Okay, let's see. The boss is hit. Let's see. What's his movement? 
I assume it's like, oh, it's only three? Huh. Okay. Let's see. He's there. Which means, does he have jump? High jump? I don't know. I, I forgot if there's a way to check that. Two height. Which means, oh, I guess technically, let's see. I think that two height is there to there. So I think with three, he could get over here. Let's see. Three either way would be... I'm going to go over here, which means it's still in much of range. Well, either way, I need to move closer to him anyway. Yeah, I didn't think I could attack him. We'll leave as is. Ooh, I could attack him, but I'd rather get rid of the chafe user. Actually, let's move a little bit farther away so I don't get machine gunned by that dude if it comes to it. Ooh, pilot damage. Hopefully we can combo... That'll be the end of her contribution. Well, I mean, I could use missiles to... Ah, come on, man. Hit him in the body. Uh, I mean, I could use missiles to... Uh, uh, the miss Ah, excellent. I could use the missile ability to... Uh, or not missile ability. Everyone's got pretty high uh, things on that, so... Actually, Kazuki's actually the one behind on his... Fo oh, okay, he didn't move at all. Okay, cool. Alright, well, I don't want to waste an attack on, uh... Yeah, he's not close enough or anything. Alright, Kazuki, you should have the range. I think he should be... Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, nice. Haha. <laughs> Actually, really enough, machine gun users get a lot of useful abilities. I was hoping it hit him in the hand. Ah, nuts. Confused. Basically, that just—I think I explained it before—but that basically means his AP is doubled. Yeah, let's use the shield because we got two more uses of it. Yeah, shields are pretty useful in this game. It's—it's it's really suggested to give all of your units a. If you're a first-time player, uh, it is kind of really suggested to use shields. All right, actually, I should let Kazuki go first. That way I can give, uh, or Ryo go first. That was laser out. I don't know, I, I feel like I'm not going to get an S rank for this, or a platinum rank for this one. I don't know, I just have a feeling. Alright. Yeah, let's shotgun. That will get rid of one of his arms. Any oh, yeah! Please be the body or arm. Oh, yeah. Oh, death. This is it. Goodbye. Ooh. Unfortunately, that meant I don't get any extra. Unfortunately, since I didn't get any of them to surrender, I don't get any of their, um, I don't get any of their max. But the, I'm not really playing the game to try and get surrenders out of people. It gets too early in the game for that. And I don't have the skills to really maximize that function enough. Oh, are you kidding me? My damage wasn't good enough? Or it was too much to... I don't really get average damage. Does that mean it's too low or is it too high? I assume that must be too low. Oh, man, that sucks. Okay. Well, I'll have to redo this mission off screen. Man, I could have swore I had enough for platinum. Oh, well. We underestimated our enemy. Oh, well, I'll just redo it off screen. That's fine. I mean, you don't need S ranks. There's no, like, achievement. And I don't think there's any bonus for it. All it gets you is more money. When you uh, when you get an S rank, so oh well. Anyway, I'll do that off screen. But before we uh, before we finish the uh, episode here, I want to show you some networking stuff I did last time, and I kind of did a boo boo on before. So I can't. Sh well, I could show you what it looks like, but I feel like it's not that necessary to show what the actual item looks like. Um. Anyway, if we want, look at the desktop and look at the data. Now the text graphic. Or sorry, the graphic data here, I accidentally locked because I was being stupid. Basically what this NCS document actually shows on it is it shows a, a uh, like a thing with like paint and like a, a spray can look and it says a password for a website we checked out earlier, which I'll show you, which I did, like I said, I did last episode, but like I said, I messed up pretty... <laughs> I was just playing around. I should have saved it and then played around with it, but... Uh, yeah, whoops, no, I don't. 
No, it's not Armor Can. I want to go to Corporation and Netcom. And then... I think it was the bottom one. It was the... Uh, I think it was the BBS stuff. It's a server. Okay. Now, the password is on that document I accidentally hit. Which should say they... As far as I know, it's the same ever... Whoops. Press the wrong button. It's the same every time you... Uh, um, uh, play the game. So you could technically go online and get a uh, get a walkthrough to, to tell you this. So I didn't need to spend the money, for example, but I thought I'd show you the method of, of how I did it. But anyway, I'll say TA3BW. If we do that. Okay, and then we get inside the menu here. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you, but let's go ahead and uh, access these files. Confidential. Development report. Perfection. Development is running behind schedule. We may not meet a spring release date. We are currently analyzing Papel's re restrix to save time, but we are still short on staff. And then let's do number five, uh, two. Yeah, we're just kind of being light hackers here for the most part. Not as much as, like, the game of... Haven't, I don't think I've recorded that yet, but I'm about to. But anyway. Highly confidential. From the president. Will we receive a tax audit over the next few days? Please delete any sensitive data. There you go. Looks like they're doing a tax stuff there. That's pretty much it. Um, there might be an email later on that deals with that. That's one of those like little like kind of just mini side stories you can kind of learn about while, uh, while messing with networking. I know, if I remember correctly, there is a network kind of little mini quest you can do that it actually gets you something pretty interesting, but uh, uh, I don't remember when we actually have access to it. I think it's closer to the end of the game, if I remember correctly. Do you have any mail? Nope. Do we have any mail we can send? Nope. Okay. Most of those dates we'll never have to deal with. I just put in all the emails from online. Like I said, most of the stuff the game will either tell you or you'll get an email to get those in the first place. So... Oh, and we were able to finish the mission before Dennis had to, like, fix the fix the plane. So I think if you take long enough or take forever to beat the guys, eventually Dennis does get to the top and leaves. But I beat the level fast enough to where we didn't get didn't have to worry about that. But anyway, looks like Dennis, Dennis has gotten the plane to the top and we've defeated the Dahong, Dahajong forces for now. Will we, will we have uh, gotten enough time for Dennis to finally leave Japan for good and find out what's going on in in with Japan and Dahajong. Find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission 3. Thanks for watching or thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Man, I messed that up pretty bad. See y'all next time.